China has warned they're being pushed closer to Russia because of the hostility shown by the United States. In a press conference, the new Chinese foreign minister warned of conflict if the US doesn't change its path. Last month, US Secretary of State Antony Blinken said there'd be consequences if China supplied weapons to Russia to help in their invasion of Ukraine. Well, Mr Chin denied arms had been sent to Moscow. Well, I'm joined now by military analyst, retired Air Vice Marshal Sean Bell. Uh, and Sean, strong words from the Chinese foreign minister. What's your take on these comments? It's always a worry when a major superpower starts talking about likely conflicts if America <coughs> continues to push and apply pressure to China. Um, the US has been pretty tough with China of late, particularly trying to stop China supplying weapons to Russia. It's also about um, China's position on Taiwan and most recently, obviously, the spy balloon scandal when uh, China was floating uh, allegedly meteorological balloons over China. Now, these comments were made in a press conference. It is worth pointing out that Chinese press conferences are not the same as they are across in the West. They're they're all pre-agreed questions, the answers are all scripted, and therefore it's all very clear messaging. But on face value, it did appear that the China's felt they were being pushed more to supporting Russia. But the harsh reality of this is China needs access to the global markets. It does not actually want to provoke a Cold War with America, and most likely it would prefer to sit on the fence throughout all of this and indeed be seen as the peacemaker throughout it. So what's most likely, when you read between the lines of this, these harsh words, it's almost certainly saying to America, don't force China to take sides in the Ukraine-Russia war. What about what's actually happening on the ground, though, uh, around Bakhmut? What's the latest there? The fighting is continuing all along the front as ferociously, but as we've been regularly updating, the situation in Bakhmut was getting critical and the U Ukrainian position was getting quite precarious. They do seem to have stabilised their lines now, although um, the Russians have actually blown a bridge, one of the key access routes out to the west, which Ukraine was using for resupply. And, of course, with the muddy conditions, that makes it really difficult for uh, Ukraine to do their resupply. But the real issue here is whether Ukraine fights for Bakhmut or withdraws. We'll remember that uh, the US... Defence Secretary uh, Lloyd Austin talked about withdrawal not being a strategic uh, backward step if they did that. And that was really because the US military felt that um, it was almost certainly more prudent to withdraw precious assets out of Bakhmut rather and to live and fight another day. But of course, President Zelensky has actually made the order to reinforce Bakhmut rather than actually withdraw. And that's almost certainly because he owns these lands. He knows he's going to have to fight Russia, if not in Bakhmut, then where? And also, despite the devastation, as we can see here, from uh, the Bakhmut, if you give it up, it's going to be even more difficult to take it back. But from a strategic perspective, I think what's increasingly apparent with a really slow progress of Russia is Russia is not going to achieve its strategic objective of taking the whole of the Donbass without having a major mobilisation, not just of people, its economy and its industry. All that will take time, which they don't have at the moment. Uh, and what about reports of this new weapon that Russia's using? Tell us a little bit more about that. Yeah, we don't often see a new uh, Russian weapon. It's um, um, the, the 2000 Bomb Bun, the UPAD 1500V, a catchy acronym. Um, it's at first used a few weeks ago. Um, it's a 2000 pound class weapon. It is not powered, so it's a gliding weapon. The higher you deliver it, the further it goes. If you deliver it from 45,000 feet, it'll go about 40 kilometers. It's got some sort of inertia navigation system, probably GPS guided as well at the front. The challenge is, is with any air delivered weapon, you've got to get relatively close to the target and you've got to be relatively high. That means you're vulnerable to the enemy's air defence system. So Ukraine uh, actually claimed it successfully shot down one of these, the Su-34 uh, SU uh, fullback, uh, just the other day, that was carrying one of these weapons and was very, very vulnerable. So um, useful weapon, but whether it's going to make a material impact, I doubt it. Sean, thanks very much.